know, some sisters, man, uh, some sisters, you know, they, 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 you know, when the husband comes home, his wife looks like she was run over by eight trucks simultaneously. You know, one truck hit her and knocked her out, then the next one, or the third one. By the time she, she looked, wearing the, the, the worst clothes ever, and you know, this pajama that, you know, she, she inherited from her grand-grand-grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Her hair is like she was electrocuted. And he comes home and he was just walking down the street. He saw the neighbor, you know, the lady with all her adornment and charms and perfume walking down the stairs. Fit enough for him. And then he wants to come home and, you know, find something uh, better than that. And he sees that. And then, you know, they wonder why he has a second wife. Huh? Among the main reasons, or just keep it real. Among the main reasons, there's a second wife. Very often, the brother doesn't get his rights. The sister thinks that she's given him his right. But there's actually a lot more to it. And you, if you go back, if you go through the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ, you will realize what his wives used to do in terms of preparation for being ready for the husband. I, we have young people here, so I really cannot elaborate as much as I wanted. You understand. But uh, sisters have to adorn yourself. When he looks at you, he's supposed to be pleased, not scared. Huh? He's like, am I in the right house? Close back the door. Say, who is this lady inside? Is that you? Yeah, yeah, I'm cleaning. Yeah, Shaykh, you know, I come home at 8 o'clock, issue cleaning. You had all day to clean. I finish cleaning during cleaning time, and before the husband comes, put on your stuff and adornment and charms, and let him feel that he's, you know, he's, instead of going to a nightclub, you know, where all these wicked women are, let him, when he comes home, feel good. And the brothers are laughing because they think they can get away with it. You can't get away with it either. Some brothers look worse than that. It looks like he was, you know, trying to fly, then a rocket went through him and took him to the moon and brought him back. You know, he's looking all with this undergarment, you know, that is, has 16 holes in it, and his armpit hair is sticking out, and he's sitting like this, he stinks, smells like, you know, lochie or uh, spinach or something, and the lady looks at him like, what, what's up with this guy? Well, uh, yani, I'm tired. Takes off his socks, you know, throws one on the TV and the other one on his other son. And uh, the whole area stinks, you know. It's like they put, you know, these yellow signs. Don't, you know, don't come close. <laughs> Hazardous area. Ma go shower, ya mhandis. And you come from, if you know that you're the type of person who sweats and has a bad odor, as soon as you go home, hit the shower.